All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing two absolutely crazy Dokkan Awakenings that just dropped on the global side of the game for the Int Super Saiyan Kid Goten and the Tech Super Saiyan Kid Trunks. Now, I'm not exaggerating when I say that these two probably make up one of my favorite rotations in the entire game now because they're just so insane together. And before we get into the gameplay, let's uh, quickly check out the details for the Trunks specifically because both these units are actually very similar in terms of leader skill, uh, super attack, and passive with a few minor differences. Now of course if you guys already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so uh, starting with his leader skill, it's Kamehameha category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 100% or tech and fizz types key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 30%, or sorry, 70%. Uh, super attack, supreme damage, and raises allies' attack by 30% for one turn. And passive is attack plus 120%, reduces damage received by 40%, plus an additional attack plus 70%, and an additional damage reduction of 30% when performing a super attack if there is an ally whose name includes Kid Goten or Krillin attacking in the same turn. Now the only difference for Goten's passive is that you need a Kid Trunks rotation for the full passive. So basically, the way they work is that when you have the two of them on the same rotation, they actually get a total of 274% attack because the additional boost is calculated separately. So 274% attack and 70% damage reduction. So that's why these two make up such a deadly combination, which you guys will see in just a second. Now with all that said, let's jump right into the gameplay. And on this first rotation, we actually have Goten by himself without Trunks because I want you guys to see what he's capable of without his main partner in crime. And without any support, he's starting off with 43,947 defense, which obviously is pretty trash, but he still has 40% damage reduction. so. Defensively, he should be okay. Nothing crazy, not gonna be that impressive, but if it's a normal attack, I would say we're still gonna take around double digits, maybe triple digits. Supers though could hurt. Okay, so this is a type disadvantage super, so we're taking 80k. Yeah, that was kind of rough, and uh, if you guys paid attention to the attack stat, it was just over a million. So if this was all you saw, right? Like you didn't know what his passive was, you didn't know that he got a huge boost with a Trunks on a rotation or a Krillin on a rotation. And like that was all you saw from the Goten. You might be like, yo Tiger, what, what the hell are you talking about, man? This unit's garbage. Like, why are you hyping him up so much? And in that instance, I would agree with you. Uh, these kids individually are very mediocre units. Okay, like they're barely breaking a million damage defensively. They're okay, but not too impressive considering that because they get no um, extra defense boost on their passive, the 40% damage reduction isn't really enough to take super attacks from most of the you know, stronger enemies in the game. But it's the combination of the two together that is just so amazing that I'm willing to put up with the fact that they're so bad by themselves. Okay, so now we have Trunks. Uh, we had the Kid Buu, right, supporting. 1.38 mil is definitely an upgrade over Goten, but still not that good. This time around, we do have 40% support from the Gohan. So Goten's going to be able to do a little bit more here. Um, I'm going to say like 1.3, maybe 1.4 if we're lucky. Oh, close. 1.38 mil. So yeah, a little bit better than last turn. But once again, right, like by today's standards, 1 mil, 1.3, 1.4 is basically nothing. Like that's essentially no damage. Before you make any judgments, all right, before you come to any conclusions, wait one more turn because the next rotation will have Goten and Trunks together. And that's when things get really crazy. Like I, I actually mean it when I say that they make up one of my favorite rotations in the game right now. And if you had asked me like, you know, a year ago, if Goten and Trunks would be one of my favorite rotations, I'd be like, why are you asking me this question? That's a stupid question. Why would Goten and Trunks be my favorite? But they just made them so good together. And you guys should definitely give it a shot, especially if you're struggling with any 
events that you can run them together on, like um, Hybrid Saiyans, Super Bad Road, for example, or Super Type Super Bad Road, or any other Dokkan events that uh, you've been having trouble with. Bring these kids together and see just how big of a difference it makes. Okay, so now we have them together. This is the Dream Rotation. Uh, actually, the Dream Rotation would have been with Kid Buu supporting, but we still get 40% attack here. And we're taking 60 plus 35. And attack stat goes up to 2.82 mil. Look at that difference, man. Look at that difference. Last turn, it was 1.3. This turn, it more than doubled to 2.8. And Trunks, if he had a chance to super, if uh, the Goku hadn't died, Trunks would have gotten over 3 million because both of them also will raise allies' attack by 30% on their super, right? So whoever super second actually gets an additional attack boost. So 2.8 for Goten, Trunks would have been over 3 million. These are Dokkan Awakenings for two old general SSR pool units, right? And I didn't see this coming guys. I did not see how good they would become. Now of course, as we saw earlier on, um, you can only really use them together. I mean you could bring other Gotens or other Trunkses and also Krillins would work too, but there are not that many options out there for Krillins. Your choices are kind of limited to like the Int one from uh, Battlefield, the LR one, and also there's the AGL one, I believe, from JP that we don't have on Global yet, so you have a few options. But of course, the best case scenario is that you bring them together. Uh, not only are they great for their passives, but they also actually share all their links with each other. So when you have Goten and Trunks together, every single one of their links will be activated. So there's also that, and notice that their links are all at level 1. Both Goten and Trunks have level 1 links, so if this is what they're doing, with level 1 links and no skill orbs also, then what are they going to look like with level 10 skill orbs and also, or level, not skill orbs rather, level 10 um, links and some really decent skill orbs too, like level 3 attack, um, maybe level 3 crit, level 3 additional, right? Like I wouldn't give them the best skill orbs in the game, but I think they deserve some like mid-tier skill orbs, like the ones that don't really know what to do with. If you have like a level 2 attack or level 4 defense or something like that lying around, um, I would throw them on these kids because I think they definitely deserve it. By the way, Trunks actually tanked the super from Super Saiyan God Goku pretty well. He took around like 26,000 damage, right? Which for Super Saiyan God Goku, who we know hits really hard, is uh, quite impressive. At this point in the video, there's not too much more to see. We're just going to stick around for you know, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and UI Goku, because that's gonna be the real test for, you know, how good they are defensively. Don't expect them to take super attacks here for double digits, but with that said, they should still hold up quite decently. So I'm gonna put Trunks in the front because that's a lot of attacks and we're most likely gonna be taking a super. Ooh, I can't even give a super attack to Goten here. Let's try this rotation again. I think I could have probably distributed the orbs a little bit better. So, okay, we'll put Trunks in the front again. Um, if I give these to Trunks, then Goten can get a super. There we go. And uh, we'll give these to Vegito. All right, Trunks, show me what you can do. So you took 2.6k for a normal before supering. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that they get the additional 30% damage reduction after they attack. So yeah, before supering, they're a little bit more vulnerable. After supering, as you can see, huge difference. Huge, huge difference. We took a super for about 12k, I believe, and normals were double digits. Same thing with uh, Goten. All normal attacks are double digits or just over 100. So there you go. Very, very impressive tanking there, even without any additional defense boost. 70% damage reduction is just so much damage reduction that um, they're going to be really tanky for you against most enemies in this game. All right, so let's just get through this rotation, and we are now going to move on to UI Goku. And like I said, this is going to be the true test. We know UI Goku does not play around, so uh, let's see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous because I actually haven't brought them this far into the event yet, so this is going to be new for me as well. Uh, we got a token attack, so that's nice. 
And uh, let me just focus here. Let's try to get a perfect Dokkan attack going as well, because I do expect to take some decent damage here. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so go... Or sorry, uh, Trunks. Man, I'm getting really confused by the names right now. Uh, how many times have I called Trunks Goten in this video? And Goten Trunks? Probably a few, right? Okay, so 2.95 million. And some really good damage there. Double digits. Okay, looking looking good so far. Looking good so far. Okay, there is the super. Uh, ooh. 58, that's actually really good. 58k against a UI Goku super attack. Um, yeah, I'll take that. I will take that any day of the week, man. UI Goku has hit some of my units for like 300k with his super, especially when you have type disadvantage. Like, this guy can just one-shot you, right? So, the fact that we only took 58k, um, really impressive. Really, really impressive. Hopefully, we can just kill UI here and see what MUI does to our um, Goten and Trunks. Now, Trunks will probably get annihilated because we still, at the end of the day, have type disadvantage. Um, but you never know. Like, honestly, if we take less than 150k from a mastered UI Goku super, you know, with type disadvantage, that would be fantastic. So, UI is not dead here. Um, we should be able to finish him off with these kids, though. So, here we go. Um, they don't stack attack or anything like that. So, the attacks that you've been seeing, you know, recently. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. I mean, not too bad, but like I said before, right, they only get their additional damage reduction after they super, so if we had taken that super attack after we had a chance to attack, then we would have taken a lot less damage, probably like 50k or so, but we didn't get that chance, which is unfortunate, but regardless, UI's dead. On this turn, I'm gonna play it safe. Yeah, I'm gonna play it safe. We're going to pop a Ghost Usher. I like how I still have my world tournament items, and I'm also going to pop this active skill um, for no reason, honestly, aside from the fact that it's awesome, and I want to see it again. It's been a while since I've actually seen this dope-ass animation, so enjoy, guys. There we go. We got our Super Vegito. Actually, we got the double Super Vegito rotation. Um, speaking of favorite rotations in the game, this is definitely one of them as well for me. And uh, we'll give these guys some orbs. And take a quick break from showcasing the kids to see what these guys are all about. Okay, so he just dodged both supers. Five point, what was the first one? 5.8 mil and 4.4. And of course he takes the super attack from the Gohan. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna put Goten first, just in case the super attack comes in the first slot because I need Trunks to actually attack first before we take any hits with type disadvantage. Um, as you can see, yeah, even though, even though we have 70% damage reduction, MUI is still doing a good amount of damage to us. Um, yeah, look at that, 13, 11, 12. It's not bad. It's not bad by, by normal unit standards, but you still gotta be a little bit careful at this stage, at this phase. Now, to be fair, UI Goku, or MUI Goku, is actually one of the hardest hitting enemies in the entire game, so we can't, um, you know, fault the kids too much here. Okay, so I didn't realize that my Streamlabs actually crashed at the end there, so the uh, last couple of turns got cut off, but it's okay, because you guys saw most of the showcase, and at this point, you should probably have a good idea of just how crazy um, these two kids are are together and once again man i did talk about this in my video yesterday when i was going through the thank you gift card units um i think both of them are top priorities for picking up with those gift cards and if you guys are missing one or both of them then definitely make that investment because it's definitely worth it and uh yeah guys that is today's showcase thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about both of these kids and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button 
to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.